Hey, it's Rob from Rovidix Media, and in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to add your first bits of video content to WP Smart TV. In our previous tutorial, we showed you how to set up the video post types inside the WP Smart TV dashboard. So now we're going to go into one of those post types. Uh, we'll do movies for this one. Uh, you could use videos or uh, TV specials for the same. Uh, however, the series and the episodes are going to be their own separate tutorial as they're a little bit more involved. So we'll just go to movies, add new. So obviously we're going to want to put a title for our movie in. And then we can put a description in. And if you scroll down, you'll see a new meta box here called WP Smart TV. And inside it will have all the information that needs to be attached to this video uh, for it to function properly in Roku or Fire TV. So first off, we're gonna need a media URL. I have some Vimeo ones already here so um you're going to need to put in the duration so your duration can either be in seconds or in timestamp so for example we can do one hour and when we tab out you see it transfers this to 3600 seconds which is one hour in seconds and over here will be the actual time code so as I said, you can also put it in as seconds and you'll get the time code over here. And pro tip, if you're using Vimeo and you get our Vimeo extender, uh, you can automatically import your duration, media URL, and other items that uh, you need to make everything work properly. So next we're gonna choose our video format. Um, for this example, I'm gonna use HLS, which is HTTP live streaming. Uh, and Vimeo provides um, HLS links. Let's get back here. There we go. So you'll notice where it says M3U8, that's an HLS link. So then we'll go down here and we gotta select our quality. So this one's an HD, we'll say. Um, and then next we're going to select our genre. So I'm just going to say documentary. And that's pretty much everything you need to add a video. These are all required. Um, if you try to publish it without it being selected, you'll get a little notice saying it is required. Um, you can also set your closed captioning. Uh, you can use VTT and SRT files, uh, though it's recommended that you use VTT uh, as the compatibility with HTML5 video players is much better. Um, we select the language and the type. And we also have trick play support. Uh, this only works on Roku currently. So trick play files are in BIF format. Um, you can get a free generator uh, that you just select your video, hit a button, and it will automatically generate your BIF files. Um, that's so when on a Roku device, when you're hitting fast forward during a video, it will pop up little thumbnails at the bottom of the screen and kind of give you an example of where you are in the video. You also have to select a BIF definition and you will need to always add two uh, BIF files to each piece of content. One has to be uh, HD and the second one is full HD. Now we have found in our test that using the exact same file for both definitions um, here in this section works fine. So you can do that. And then in other stuff, these are mainly for um, other devices like Amazon Fire TV thumbnail that's uh, for compatibility with our Fire TV system and the parental rating you can put a parental rating in we uh, cover all the same ones that Roku covers uh, we'll probably expand this list as we get more Fire TV integration going 
And then the last two things you need to do is we need to add some tags. Now tags are used for organizing the content into lists. So it's really important that you put the tags in. Um, so for this example, we're just gonna call this one um, wildlife documentaries. And we're gonna click add. And now wherever we have use the wildlife documentaries tag this video will show up and that's going to be really important here in upcoming videos then finally we're going to need to set a featured image so i've just grabbed some stock photo here we import it click set featured image and it's all ready all we have to do now is click publish and you've added your first piece of video content We'll see you in the next video.